This is the first time I've ever seen anything like this myself. The video was dramatic. Going at about eight knots. The story incredible. He may get snagged in some power lines. A little boy caught in a runaway balloon. He just touched the ground. Even when it turned out Falcon Heaney was never airborne and was hiding at home all that time. I was planning to find saucer. Sheriffs were more relieved than skeptical. We believe at this time uh, that it's a, a real event. Falcon's dad, Richard, did indeed demonstrate emotion in this home video of the balloon coming loose. The question is, was it real or playing to the camera? The unraveling of the hoax came during an unscripted moment. In a live television interview, Falcon was asked why he hid when everyone was searching for him. We did this for the show. It became very clear to us at that point that they were lying. Uh, you know, you picked up on it, we picked up on it. Getting a TV show for his family has been Richard Heaney's goal. You know, am I nuts? Am I crazy? They appeared on the reality show Wife Swap, and he wanted more. A former research assistant told the website Gawker it was all Richard thought about. It was really about, hey, you know, if, if we did this right, it'd be on every major news network around the world. Last night, police seized evidence from the Heaney home. And of the four charges the department hopes to file over the next few days, two are Class 4 felonies, which carry up to six years of jail time and $500,000 in fines. Today, the sheriff said the Heenies met in Hollywood acting school. Their emotions over the last few days... I'm really sorry I yelled at them. ...were just an act. So needless to say, they put on a very good show for us, and we bought it. Officials are also considering fining the Heenies for the tens of thousands of dollars it cost to pursue the runaway balloon. And the FAA may fine them because it invaded restricted airspace near Denver International Airport. It could all add up to more of a financial reality than Mr. Heaney expected. Russ? Hattie Kaufman in Fort Collins, Colorado. Thank you very much. The rogue balloon episode raises questions as well for the news media. For perspective on that, we are joined by Robert Thompson, Professor of Television and Popular Culture at Syracuse University. Professor, good evening. Good evening. Before we talk about the news media, let's talk about Richard Haney. From your experience, what would make someone go to the extent that he did to be on TV? People do it all the time. They get up in the morning so they can be seen through the window of morning news shows. They stand in line 30,000 deep to audition for uh, American Idol. Being on TV is something that an awful lot of people want to do really, really badly. Okay, let's talk about the news media's, media's role in this. This was all over the cable networks on Thursday when it first went down. Did the media go too far here? Should we collectively be taken to the woodshed for this? Well, I suppose, yes, the media should be taken to the woodshed because they covered a story that wasn't the story. In the end, we watched for three hours a balloon floating in the sky. That's all it was. But in this age of live coverage, these stories are like catnip. News media knows that we are going to watch them. Uh, they've got the ability to uh, show this stuff live. And before we realized this story wasn't the story at all, we'd been covering it for four hours. Can you turn the clock back on this or has the train left the station? Are we going to see more stories like this and the media reacting the same way? If something like this happened tomorrow, I think we would cover it the exact same way. And you know, these hoaxes are nothing new. P.T. Barnum, who we consider a, a great American, uh, made a career out of presenting mermaids that were really fish sewn together with monkeys. The American people for a long time have actually gravitated to stories that have turned out to be complete fakes. And sometimes we like the contrivance as much as we like being convinced that it was real. <laughs> Interesting. Robert Thompson, professor of television and popular culture at Syracuse University. We thank you so much.